How PCP affects the body. Pain is a feeling that comes from reaction to stimulus. The pain process varies with different stimulus. In an internal situation, such as muscle inflammation, the inflamed muscle releases an imidazoline receptor ligand. This ligand is a signal receptor that causes reactions to occur. The imidazoline receptor ligand binds to an imidazoline receptor, a protein. The protein changes into a neurotransmitter, like serotonin, which travels through the body as an electrical signal. Electrical signals are the driving force of the nervous system. The signal travels to the spinal cord, where the pain is amplified by creating more ligands. From the spinal cord, it travels to the thalamus and the cerebral cortex, which responds to the pain. When the neurotransmitter reaches the cerebral cortex, the cortex receives these signals and converts them into an electrical impulse. These impulses will travel to receptors near the inflamed muscle and tell cells near the muscle to cause more cells to duplicate so that they can replace damaged cells and fix the muscle. PCP is a drug that affects pain perception by binding to electrical signals so that the pain process is killed. This causes numerous problems within the cell and is the sole reason for the inhibition of pain. All of this happens because the imidazoline receptor is inhibited by the drug. This is a common reason that PCP was originally intended to be used as an anesthetic. When the transduction process is blocked, the production of neurotransmitters like dopamine stops. This is because PCP binds with the neurotransmitters produced after reception. This causes the brain to disconnect from normal sensory function and causes the local anesthetic effect to stop. PCP is a drug that has many effects on normal cell functioning. The effects of this drug include feeling detached from your body and having an extreme change in sensory perceptions. Higher doses of this drug also include extreme paranoia and physical distress. These can be attributed to PCP's blocking of other key neurotransmitters, causing an extreme high with many side effects. Thanks for watching.